Welcome, Black Knights. Welcome to another great year in your burnout middle school library. I'm your librarian, Mrs. Bayardo. And right now we're going to go over some rules and policies and procedures for your library. So sit back, relax, and let's pay attention. First of all, the hub, better known as the place where all the cool kids hang out, is always open Monday through Friday in the morning from 7.45 in the morning till 8.20 when the tardy bell rings. Unless there is a posted sign that it is closed for meetings or special events. Other than that, we are also open during lunch and after school we close at 4.15. So, when is it ever closed? Unfortunately, Black Knights, there is some times when the library is closed. During a lunch time, the library will be closed. Every week it will be different. Check the library door to see which lunch is open. Now, we are not that kind of library. You know the kind. We are the kind of library that want you to be considerate and polite, keep your noise level down, study, play, create, learn, hang out, and as always, enjoy your time and use it wisely. In the morning, you can visit our library as long as you report to the cafeteria first and you stay in the library, unless you report back to your hallway. During the school day, you can always visit the library as long as you come with a pass provided by your teacher. When you enter the library, leave the pass on the circulation desk, you sign in through end time, and before you leave, I'll sign your pass to return back to class. During your lunch time, you can always come and hang out in the library as long as you ask for permission first. Students have to eat before you come to the library. It's important. And remember, we have precious material in the library as in books, so please, no food in the library. Uh, seventh and eighth graders, you're familiar that when you come and visit to the library, you must sign in to end time. Same thing this year. As always, sign in to end time when you visit. Now, sixth graders, I understand you aren't familiar with end time, but before the end of the year, you will become excellent pros at end time. When you visit the library, sign in to end time, and before you leave, you sign out of end time. And as always, enjoy your library time. How many books can I get is the famous question always asked. Yes, you can check out three books, and you are able to check them out for three weeks out of time. But remember, it's always important to bring your books back. Can you put books on hold? Absolutely. You may request books on hold if the book is checked out. All you have to do is ask me to put a book on hold. I'll let you know when the book has arrived and the library will hold the book for five days. If after five days you have not picked up your book, it will go to the next person waiting in line for that book. Now, this is something I hate to talk about, but we must. Overdue and lost books. Boys and girls, it's very important for you to return your books on time. Everyone wants to enjoy them just as well as you do. So please, return your books on time. We do not charge fines or late fees for books. However, if your book is overdue, you cannot check out another one until you return your overdue books. If you lose a book, you'll need to pay for the book and be responsible. If you find the book again later, return it and you'll get a full refund of your money. Now the computers in the, cap in the library are for everyone to use and enjoy. They may only be used for school related assignments. Always follow the NISD technology rules. Cool math games can be played only if your teacher assigns it to you. 
assignments and clubs come before games. So if someone comes to you, taps you on the shoulder and asks you to use your computer for an assignment or some kind of club activity, please be polite and let them use the computer. Now sometimes our computers can uh, not work or turn on or do some kind of weird things. If something goes wrong with a computer, ask Mrs. Bayardo for help. Do not take care of the problem yourself. Who wants to join the club? What club? Any club. We have the Night to the Library Club where you become part of the library crew, learn all about the library and help the library be a cool place to hang out and learn. You can be a part of our book club, 6th, 7th and 8th graders hanging out together and learning all about books and talking about great books that we've read. You can also come and enjoy listening to a good book. Lunch and Listen will happen every week. You bring your lunch to the library, sit back, relax, and listen to Mrs. Bayardo read a good book. You can also be a part of the Writing Nights. If you are an aspiring author and want to get published, be a part of our Writing Nights Club. This is your Burnow Library website, burnow-library.weebly.com. This is where you can get all the information and up-to-date websites and links that pertain to the Burnow Library. You can get books and a blog that Ms. Bayardo maintains, links, work that you do in the library, club information, and any kind of library schedule information. Write this website address down, know it, because it'll be something that you'll need to know. You can also stay in the know and up-to-date information by following us on all the social media. If you or your parents have a Facebook account, follow us at Burnow Library. If you have a Twitter account, follow us at burnow-library. And if you have an Instagram account, follow us at burnow under dash or underscore library. You can also stay in the know by receiving texts and important messages from the library and Mrs. Bayardo. If you want to be a part of that, you can send a text message to this number 81010 and you can also write in the message at B E R N A L M. Now that you know all of the rules and policies and procedures of the library, let's take a tour.